Keytruda works with your immune system to help fight cancer cells. Keytruda is not chemotherapy or radiation therapy, is an immunotherapy, and it works with your immune system to help fight certain cancers. Keytruda can cause your immune system to attack normal organs and tissues in any area of your body and can affect the way they work. These problems can sometimes become severe or life-threatening and can lead to death. You can have more than one of these problems at the same time. These problems may happen any time during treatment or even after your treatment has ended. For certain types of cancer, Keytruda is approved to be used along with chemotherapy. Keytruda is a prescription medicine used to treat a kind of skin cancer called melanoma, a kind of lung cancer called non-small cell lung cancer, NSCLC, a kind of cancer called head and neck squamous cell cancer, HNSCC, a kind of cancer called classical Hodgkin lymphoma, CHL. It may be used in adults when your CHL has returned or you have tried a treatment and it did not work or in children when you have tried a treatment and it did not work or your CHL has returned after you received two or more types of treatment. A kind of cancer called primary mediastinal B-cell lymphoma, PMBCL. It may be used in adults and children when you have tried a treatment and it did not work or your PMBCL has returned after you received two or more types of treatment. A kind of bladder and urinary tract cancer called urothelial carcinoma. A kind of cancer that is shown by a laboratory test to be a microsatellite instability high, MSIH, or a mismatch repair deficient, DMNR, solid tumor, it may be used in adults and children to treat. A kind of cancer called colon or rectal cancer, it may be used when your cancer. A kind of stomach cancer called gastric or gastroesophageal junction, GEJ adenocarcinoma. A kind of cancer called esophageal or certain gastroesophageal junction carcinomas that cannot be cured by surgery or a combination of chemotherapy and radiation therapy. A kind of cancer called cervical cancer that tests positive for PDEL1. A kind of liver cancer called hepatocellular carcinoma. It may be used after you have received the medicine sorafenib. This use is approved based on how many patients responded to treatment and how long they responded. Studies are ongoing to provide additional information about clinical benefit. A kind of skin cancer called Merkel cell carcinoma, MCC, in adults and children. It may be used when your cancer has spread or returned. This use is approved based on how many patients responded to treatment and how long they responded. Studies are ongoing to provide additional information about clinical benefit. A kind of kidney cancer called renal cell carcinoma, RCC. A kind of uterine cancer called endometrial carcinoma, it may be used alone. A kind of skin cancer called cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma, CSCC. It may be used when your skin cancer has returned or spread and cannot be cured by surgery or radiation. A kind of cancer called triple negative breast cancer, TNBC. Common side effects of Keytruda when used alone include feeling tired, pain, including pain in muscles, rash, diarrhea, fever, cough, decreased appetite, itching, shortness of breath, constipation, bones or joints, and stomach area, abdominal pain, nausea, and low levels of thyroid hormone. In children, when Keytruda is used alone, fever, vomiting, upper respiratory tract infection, headache, and low levels of white blood cells and red blood cells, anemia, are more common than in adults. These are not all the possible side effects of Keytruda. Talk to your healthcare provider for medical advice about side effects.